in the spirit and we are going to go shopping for spring decor and items to really celebrate the season and decorate our space with. If you know me, you know I absolutely love celebrating and staying rooted in the seasons and I truly believe that each new season comes with its different joys and treasures and unique qualities that we can really soak up and savor and make the most of. So that's precisely what we're gonna be doing today and I have a few notes so that we can stay on task and make sure we get all the treasures we're looking for. So here are the places I would like to go. I would like to go to the thrift store. I have some things to drop off. Been doing a little spring cleaning. And then I also wanna browse around and then we can go to Home Goods. I'd love to go to Lowe's and check out their garden center because I'm looking for some fresh flowers for our baskets on the door, as well as maybe potentially for our front porch. So we'll see what they have. And then I would love to go to the library. Last year we had this fun idea of checking out some garden books and using them for inspiration, but also for decor. So I would love to do that again, especially since we're planning on starting our garden this month and the next month. So hopefully we'll find some goodies there. And then the last stop, I would love to go to a local flower shop and hopefully find some beautiful spring colorful dried florals. So. That's what's on the agenda and then I, I do have a list of items I'm specifically looking for because I do have a good amount already so I don't want to overdo it but I would love to find reusable napkins, potentially a tablecloth, flowers for the baskets like I mentioned, pots for front porch potentially, dried floral, garden books, and then I'd love one of those honey spoons. What's this? I don't remember the specific name for it but it has these little crevices and you can spoon out the honey. I'll insert a picture and you guys will know what I'm talking about. But I'd love to find one of those. And then Easter basket fillers. I'd love to start working on that. And that's pretty much it. So that's the agenda, but I'm really looking forward to spending the day with you and celebrating spring together. lovely experience. I'm so glad I went into the thrift store. I didn't really find anything spring related. Oh, there's my music. <laughs> Maverick City. Um, I didn't find anything I loved spring related. I actually did find quite a few florally things that were nice, but I was really hoping I would find the napkins there. And they did have quite a selection of table runners, but I do have a table runner I really like already. And then I decided I don't really need a tablecloth because I like the natural wood look with the placemats. So did some brainstorming and redefining what I'm looking for, but it was just lovely and the cashier was so sweet. We just had a really beautiful conversation. So that's always a mood boost when your interactions with people are really pleasant. So that's been nice. But I did pick up two things and I usually wait to do a haul later, but I'm excited about them. These are not spring related though, let's be real. So I found these two seashell jars and if you know me, you know I love the sea, I love anything coastal and I love pink. So these were just meant to be, it was serendipitous. We were supposed to find each other and these are absolutely vintage. I was trying to figure out where they came from. It doesn't say a brand, but it is made in France. So both of them are made in France and then I was looking on Etsy while I was there to see if I found similar ones and I did find one I can't I didn't look at the dimensions but it might be this size one or the size bigger 
for sale for $32. Let me show you the listing. Okay, so here it is, $37 actually. And this one was also made in France. It's funny because I feel like this is the bigger one than this, like almost that it's the missing set of these. I don't know, but I'm excited about them. I'm probably gonna put them in our pantry for now and store some food in it. And then once it's summertime, I might put them on the counter. We'll see, are the floating shelves. But that was a fun find. And I wanted to mention that if you are looking for baskets for your Easter baskets for spring decor, the thrift store is a fabulous place to find them secondhand. That's where I bought ours last year. So I already have one, I'm good to go with that. But they had some really cute baskets in there today. these yellow placemats but they I mean napkins but they only have a set of four but I would need six for our place settings leave home goods empty-handed we found lots of goodies so I'm excited to show you and while I was in there I tried to find one of the honey dippers that I mentioned I was looking for but unfortunately I didn't have any luck but I did look online and World Market has some and they're these pretty olive wood ones so we're gonna pop in there right now and see what we can find was a great library run. I found some gems. I did get one repeat book from last year when we did this. So this is the repeat one. I'm excited. This is a good one. It had, oh, Gardentopia. Yeah, I was thinking of a different one, but this one's also good. It has 
nice inspiration, especially for landscaping design. So that's a good one. And then I also found the Living Soil Handbook by Jesse Frost. I've never heard of him before, but he's a host of Farmer Jesse's No-Till Market Garden Podcast, which sounds right up my alley. And that'd be so fun to find a gardening podcast to give me some inspiration. So this looks interesting. And then we have two more, which I think this is also a repeat from either last time I went shopping for spring. I know I've checked this out before. I don't know if it was my spring shop with me last year or just a different time, but I like this book. It's called To Eat, A Country Life. And then the last one is The Exceptional Herbs for Your Garden, which this is gonna be very helpful because something I got today, I potentially will wanna use for an herb garden. Wow, this is stunning. Look at the drawings in it. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Oh wow, see their work of arts, but also practical to learning new new knowledge. They also had a beautiful Women's History Month display in there, which I loved and checked out for a little bit. And now I ended up staying out and about later than expected. It's already 2 p.m. and I'm hungry. I'm definitely wanting something to eat. So I think I'm gonna stop in a little cafe and get one of my favorite salads and we can just have a moment in a cafe together, maybe bring in one of these books and I have my notebook and we can just have a solo lunch date. How does that sound? such a fun time and the weather is just absolutely glorious today so that just made it even more enjoyable and look who's wanting to say hi say hi palmer he's waiting for his treat i have a little kong with bananas in it frozen bananas so he's being a good good boy very patient it's so cute because this time last year he was only about a month or two old, so he was itty bitty, and now look how much he's grown. It's really so sweet, but I'm gonna make an afternoon iced coffee. I'm thinking cold brew today, and then we'll do our haul of all the goodies we picked up. Okay, cheers. Maybe you wanna grab a little snack and drink because we're gonna be here for a minute I'm gonna also show my spring decor that I have from previous years just because I'm gonna be using it to decorate still still have lots of gems and unfortunately I wasn't able to find any dried floral that I really loved so I think I'm just gonna try to source that online or check a few different places over the weekend but I'll keep you <laughs> in the loop to see what we figure out but hopefully yeah we'll be able to find some stuff soon but we found some other little gems so i already showed you the books really really excited to style these and also read them i started reading this one at lunch and it's very interesting and it was so sweet because at the beginning of the book usually they have a dedication and he dedicated it to the incredible moms in his life and the first one's his wife, which, oh my goodness, that's just so precious. And he's definitely more of like a farmer farmer. So a lot of it is a few levels above what I'm going for, but still very interesting to read and learn from. And these are also super cute. So happy we went to the library. And I'm also trying to find Palmer's Easter basket that I purchased last year. It's this really cute fluffy dog Easter basket, but I do not know where I put that. I hope it's not mixed in with the fall or Christmas stuff because I 
do not want to get that stuff down, but hopefully I'll find it soon. I'll try to look for it later. But I did get Palmer some more toys to put in his Easter basket. So let's start with the home goods items. This toy is from Home Goods, and I bought him a similar similar one last year, but by this point it is completely disheveled and torn apart. So I bought him another one. And he loves these because it's really fun for them to work on taking the bunny out of the carrot. So that's a great one. And then I also picked up this toy. I think this hopefully will be a bit more durable for him because he is definitely an aggressive chewer and just loves to tear up the, the toys. Okay, and then these are the napkins I ended up picking up. And I showed you those yellow ones in the store and then I found these other yellow and tan ones. I think they look really beautiful. Let's hold them up with our dinnerware. This dinnerware is from Target from last year. Oh, that's cute. I think that'll look really nice together. The yellow is a little bit different, but is it okay? What do you think? Is it too close but not perfectly aligned that it doesn't work or do you think it works? Let me know. I'll keep the tag on for now and we'll see what you guys say. Yeah, I don't know. I like them. I like them and they are 100% cotton, which is great. But yeah, the yellow is a little off. So is that a decor decorating faux pas or is it okay? Who knows? Okay. And then I got a couple more things from this one collection that they have this year that is so cute to me. So I have this spoon rest with this pretty blue flower. Kind of looks like a lavender, but more blue. So, so pretty. And a few weeks ago, I bought this little jar from Home Goods as well. And it's the same collection because it really coordinates nicely. And so I really like how that looks. And if you watch the vlog where I purchased this, it, I said it reminds me sort of like a vintage piece. Looks very handmade. I love the texture of it. So I think that's such a great find. And I purchased a couple more things from that set. So the next one are these sweet little plates from the same line. And I think these are precious. They're the perfect little size for a dessert plate. And I was thinking, I think it might look a little too busy to layer another plate like that. Yeah, maybe, but I could just keep these on the table um, or buy a little dessert area. We do host for Easter. Last year we hosted a couple different family things, so I'd love to do that again. I need to put those plans in order. I haven't really thought much about it, but I am prepping with some entertainment items. So those little dessert plates are darling. And then the last thing from that collection is this pitcher. And I thought this would be great as a pitcher for water, keep it on the table or lemonade, or it would be a really super cute vase to put in the middle of our island and have a beautiful bouquet. So two different options for that. Okay, and the last thing from Home Goods that I purchased is this planter. And I, this is a maybe, this is a maybe. It is so beautiful. I think it's absolutely lovely. And I was thinking how beautiful would an herb garden look in here with the herbs just growing and springing out of this and I could keep it on the front porch or the back porch. So I don't know, I think it's so cute. Oh, I don't think you guys could see, but it also has this little um, shelf on the bottom where you could put a couple more pots or a few more pots. So I think it's really, really beautiful and I love the style of it. I feel like the style really complements the outdoor furniture that we already have, especially on the back porch. So after I show you the rest of the stuff, I'm gonna go check it out and see where we would even put it. But if not, I have my receipt, have the tag, and we'll make a return. But I wanted to show you because it's so beautiful and kind of a little different than the other stand-up little planters that I found, so. That's a fun find. And I already showed you these, but these plates from Target. And I didn't go to Target today because I was there a few days ago just picking up some miscellaneous groceries and I browsed through quickly and there wasn't anything that was really sticking out to me. And like I said, I didn't wanna overdo it. I didn't wanna get too many things and we already have quite a bit. So that's my reasoning, but you know, I love Target. Okay, from World Market, I found my little honey dipper. Yay, it's 
so cute. And I was thinking it would be so fun to put some honey in here. And then I could put the dipper next to it or rest it on the top and have a cute little moment there. And then the other two things from World Market, I did pick up this bunny basket and this filler because I love the natural woven look and the natural color of this filler. And I do have an idea for a dining room or dining table centerpiece arrangement with the Easter basket, but it does require some dried florals. So I'm gonna try to find some. Again, I'll let you know what I find. But I think this is so, so precious and I love the little bunny ears. Okay, and then this is our little box of other decor that we've had from the past. I just stuck these candles on, but these are from Magnolia Market when we went to Waco in Texas. And I just have been adding them to my Easter or spring decor pile because I wanna switch out some candles with a little pastel pop of color. And then these paper goods I also found at Home Goods a few weeks ago. Again, just thinking about entertaining options and especially for my little cousins and niece and nephew, the, the little bunny will be so cute for them. Okay, then we have some dish towels. These were a gift from a friend um, and she got them from Home Goods last year. Really, really cute. And then this bath towel is actually from Target last year and it's really cute. I believe I used this in the kitchen, but maybe I'll put it in our powder bathroom this year. And then bunny ears, not really a decor, it's just in this little box. Then we have this happy Easter bowl. I believe this was from Target a few years ago. And then we have a spatula, which was from Home Goods. And then this cute little marble bunny. I probably will put this on a shelf or our media console. And then we have our reusable plastic eggs to put some goodies in. I'm not gonna pull them all out, but these are from Target, they're cute. And then, oh, I do wanna show you these because these were a cute find from the dollar spot at Target last year. And I love the design of these. You could absolutely DIY these as well. I'm missing a couple, <laughs> they're just hidden in this. I'm doing a little egg hunt right here, right now. Okay, here it is. Like, look at how beautiful that color palette is. Love it. So cute. Last year I put that on our floating shelves in the kitchen and I liked that. And then we have this little flower banner that I made. And then the last thing are these little bowls that my Grammy got me a few years ago. So there's three of them and they have different colors. But those are all of the goodies. So much fun. I'm really looking forward to decorating later this week and hopefully I'll be able to find some dried florals. Oh wait, that's not exactly all of it. Okay, so I did go into Lowe's, which is just so fun this time of year. The garden center is truly blooming. And at our particular home improvement store, they take over the parking lot too. So it's not just the garden center, but they have like half of the parking lot blocked off with tons of flowers. It's just amazing. So I picked up three of these. Oh goodness, I forget how to say it. Calanche? Calancho? Calancho? Calanche? I, I want to say it's Calanche. I bought these last year and I loved them. They turned out really great and I put them in this basket. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put this on the front porch or the back porch yet, but I love these three colors together and they lasted pretty well in the basket. I just need to make sure I water them more, but those love full sun and they are annuals. So they are in bloom this time of year and I definitely want to figure out different ways to add more fresh greenery as well as dried greenery. So still brainstorming the decorating, but that will be in a video here soon. Thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. I hope you enjoyed shopping around and getting some spring decor inspiration, but I love you all so much and hope this season is beautiful for you. See you soon. Bye.